Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Heather and this is Just a Girl in Her Wigs. I am here today to show you yet another pixie style. <laughs> I wanted to take a second because I did a little search and I did not see the style. Um, I didn't see that I had reviews on it. So I wanted to take a moment and I wanted to do a review on it because I think it's very cute. Uh, it's very practical. It has a lace front. It has a mono top. It weighs 1.95 ounces and the nape is three inches long. So that nape is a little bit longer than the other wigs that I have reviewed and worn. So I'm just letting you know that. Um, but it's to me, it's not too long, but it is very cute. Um, this right here, it offers ear coverage, so you can kind of tell that. So if you are one of those people who want to wear a short pixie style, but you do prefer to have some coverage on the ear, you will get this with the style. Um, like I said, it has a lace front. It has a mono top. It has a little bit of permatease here. Um, and sometimes I will tell you that when I talk about Henry Margu, the Henry Margu styles typically run a little large on me due to the cap size. Um, but this style is, is actually fitting me very well. So I'm very happy about that. Um, the ear tabs are coming just right above. So I will show you that right now. You can see where the ear tab is. So it's right above my glasses. And a lot of times I will try to wear Henry Margu style and that those ear tabs will either lay on my glasses or they'll be below the glasses. And that to me, it's like it bothers my um, glasses and sometimes it can move just a little bit. I, have, I wear a bifocal and I wear glasses all the time. So um, if that moves it a little bit, it seems like it makes my bifocal be off. So I do appreciate when I can get a style, a very cute little style and the ear tabs are above my um, glasses. So I'm just letting you know that. Um, Cause I, I do talk about that sometimes. Um, when I take this off, you will see my wig grip. My wig grip is something that I buy at Amazon and I've been wearing that same wig grip for um, about a year now. And I will show you the lace front. I don't wear any um, adhesives or any glue on um, when I'm wearing a wig. I just use the wig grip. So I'm just letting you know that as well. Um, but I'll go ahead and take the wig off. And this is my grip. This right here is velvet. This is lace, lace from here to here. Again, this is a velvet. And in the back, um, it closes with Velcro. So you do have that Velcro um, in the back to close the, the wig grip. And like I said, I get these on Amazon. I'm gonna try to show you the color of the wig. I am using new lights. This is my first uh, review um, on a wig with the new lights. So I'm kind of having to, um, work out the kinks so if the wig looked a little bit too dark i do apologize um i did take photos of this wig outside in natural light and i'll be posting those photos over on instagram and you can find me at just a girl and her wigs and um, like i said i'll be posting those photos over on instagram so if you want to just take a moment and look over there you will see the um photos that i took outside but again i'm just going to try to show you the um the color and I think you can kind of see the coloring. It is very pretty. It's, it's, um, it's very nicely done. It's not, um, you don't see like a stripes of colors. It's just blended very nice. But like I said, it's, it's a very pretty color. And I wanted to just try to show you that. Okay, I'll go ahead and show you the underside of the cap. This wig is brand new. I took it out of the box. I took off the hang tag so that way it wouldn't be flopping around in my face while I'm trying to do a review. And um, I did not put any product on this. I did not put any water on this. Like I said, it's brand new, just out of the box. As you can see, it has the Henry Margot label. This right here is your nape. 
And for those who appreciate metal stays in the nape, this does offer metal stays back here in the nape. And this right here is Velcro closures. Right there's the back of the wig. The lace does go back down into the ear tab. And actually it goes to about the middle of the ear tab. So right there. This ear tabs are, um, they have a very nice soft velvety feel to them. There's metal stays in the ear tabs. This lace is soft. It's not scratchy. Right here is your mono top. Here's the lace front. This right here is where the permatease is, and that's going to be at your crown, and that gives you your volume. It gives you a little bit of lift right here and a little bit of poof, a little bit of profile. So that's right there is where that's at, and I can just show you a side view. Okay. A lot of people ask me, hey, how do you put on a wig, or how do you put on your wig, Heather? What I do is I just take it by the back and gently... Put it on, take my ear tabs, line everything up, take the back and pull it down, make sure everything is where it goes. Um, everything that I talk about in my videos is my opinion, my thoughts. Um, we all do things differently and that is fine, but I do like to say that I never take my wigs off by just grabbing here and taking them off. I feel like when you have lace features on your wig, if you do that, you may potentially or you could um, rip or tear, stretch, snag the lace features. And then I think that it could present a problem when you try to wear that wig. It might not function as it's uh, intended to. So I just like to say that again, like I said, it's just my um, opinions. Um, and we all do things differently and that is fine. I just wanted to let you know how I, or why I feel that way. So anyways, um, again, like I said, this is a very cute little pixie style. You can part this in any direction. It has that mono top. You can pull the hair off of your face because it has a, a lace front that's done very well. Um, you could put a little bit of product in here and just jazz up that uh, fibers. What I like to do too, is I think about just tucking this behind my ear. So you have just like a little bit of um, hair here at the ear. You could just tuck a little bit behind and then just leave a little portion of it out. And that would be very cute too. Um, it does have, like I said, it does have the permatease up here. It's not bad. It um, actually is a very minimal amount, but it just gives you that little bit of boost right there. I don't notice uh, permatease any other place on the wig. <laughs> Um, and if there is a little bit there, it's very light. It's not noticeable at all. Um, so I just like to talk to you about that. Again, this weighs 1.95 ounces. It is in the color 33H. It is by Henry Margu, and it is called Charlotte. It is a very cute little style. You can wear this spring, summer, winter, or fall. It would be good for spring and summer. Uh, during those when or during those um, really hot months, um, because it it doesn't weigh. I mean, the the weight of it is just. I mean, to me, it's it's so well done, and the weight, you know, it's not heavy at all. So. Anyways, I hope each and every one of you have a great rest of the day. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please um, leave a comment below in the comment section. Please subscribe. You can feel free to even share this video. Like I said, um, I did this video because I did not see the style out there and I had, you know, no information on it. So I wanted to check it out and then I wanted to just let others know about the style because it is very cute and it has very, um, it has a lot of, um, you know, styling features. So anyways, have a great rest of the day and I hope that each and every, every one of you um, take care. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.